Failure is way better than not trying. I used to be in a position where I'd be terrified of failing. I'd be petrified of failing. I'd be so afraid of what would happen, of what people would say, of this thing, this circumstance, all these things. And I would never even try. But in reality, you're better off trying and failing than not trying at all. Because you're gonna grow a lot more when you try and you fail than when if you didn't fail at all. Because let's think from the perspective of you try, you fail at something. Then you have to pick yourself back up and you've got to try again and you've got to better yourself again. That's going to have an amazing effect on your mental health because that's going to teach you discipline in a sense of when things are going wrong. That's going to teach you the idea that you need to keep trying and keep trying even when things aren't going 100% your way. And that's going to adapt a lot better in your life in the future. But let's say you didn't try at all. You didn't take that step out of your comfort zone. You didn't try to do that thing at all. You are not going to experience the same growth to any degree like you did before like you did in the other circumstance. Because even if you fail, you have to pick yourself up then. You have to deal with the loss, you have to deal with the hardship, you have to deal with the sad emotion, if that makes sense. And you gotta re-light that fire in you. You gotta get back on that path of trying to better you, trying to sort that situation out. And that has the true, eff true effect on you. That has the true effect on you. When you fail and you try again, and you may start winning then in that thing, that's gonna have an amazing effect on your mental health because that's gonna teach you not to give up when things go hard, when things go wrong, when times get tough. And that's what I've had to learn overall. Every time I've not tried to do something that I felt the urge to do because I was afraid, because I was scared, because oh, I was out of my comfort zone, I never got anywhere in myself and I didn't even reach any confidence in myself because why would I? I'm not giving myself a stimulus to grow in a sense. Let's even put it into the perspective of you're in the gym. When you're lifting weights, you're putting your muscles under tension. Let's say you get out of your comfort zone, you speak to a random person, you speak to a girl you like. You're putting yourself under tension. You're putting yourself under a bit of fire. And you literally have to grow from that, in a sense. And it can go either way, it can go either way. I think your muscles break down and they rebuild stronger. You're going to rebuild stronger if you go and you speak to someone. Even if you lose, even if you don't get the required outcome you want, you're going to have to understand who you truly are, build yourself back up and try again and try again. But whereas if you didn't even try, you might have not even got any of that growth. And that's not even talking about if the situation went good as well. If you had an amazing interaction, if you got that girl's number, if you made a new friend, whatever it is, we're not talking about the positive of that interaction, we're talking about the negatives. And even on the negative side, you're gonna grow from it because you're gonna have to understand how you could get better from that situation. Did you come off weird? Did you do all these things wrong. There's all different areas that you can approach it from. But that's important overall in us. And I don't want you lot in a position where you're terrified to fail and you don't even try. And you don't even try because that's a dark place for you because you're not going to try to break out of anything. Then. You're not going to try to break out your conversation. You're not going to try to literally get out of anything. Then. And that's going to be terrible for you because you're not going to see any growth in yourself. And automatically, all the growth that's come in myself has come from me stepping out of my comfort zone and it's cliche everyone says this i know but it came from me stepping out of my comfort zone saying oh i need to try this new thing i need to get myself into this thing into this into this and try this and try this and try this and automatically having a level of resistance in trying something new therefore i've grown from it then therefore i learned about myself differently therefore i've built myself in that even if things weren't going wrong let's say when i used to do kickboxing when i used to do kickboxing i started sparring after training for a few months I was getting fucked up straight away. I was getting fucked up straight away. I was getting punched up straight away. And I could take that either two ways. I could take that in the way of, oh, I'm shit, oh, I'm terrible, I can't do this. But then I kept going and kept going. And now I got fairly decent at it to the point the same people I was sparring, I was able to get the better of at that time. So don't you think that has an amazing effect on your confidence in a sense when you go from that extreme to the other extreme? When you put that into that perspective where at first you're struggling and you're failing, and then you adapted and you tried and you tried and you tried and then you started winning again. Same with this YouTube channel. At first, it wasn't doing well at all. Now it's doing fairly decent. That's me growing and growing and growing. And sometimes you got to get beat up a bit in order to learn, in order to get better. Sometimes you have to get that. And that's what's happened with me in all different things, in all different things. Even in the gym, I've had to struggle and I've had to not know what I'm doing in order to get better at it, you know? And even now I struggle sometimes, but I get better at it as well. 
and I see results overall. And that's where it comes from at the end of the day. Then there is always going to be an element of struggle. There's always going to be an element of discomfort, an element of pain, an element of hardship in order for you to grow in all different areas. And there's always going to be that battle of the mind as well. There's always going to be that battle of the mind where you don't want to do it. Where you feel like, oh, I can't be fucked today. Oh, I can't be fucked. But then you do it anyway. And then you see the growth from that. And it's important for us to have this idea when we're doing things that we don't necessarily want to do. But we know it's got high growth on the end of it. Let's say you want to meditate. Let's say you want to meditate and you don't really feel like it at this moment. If you get up and you meditate, you're going to see the rewards in a future tense from it. But if you didn't do it, you're just going to stay in the same, same path. You know what I mean? Let's say you didn't go to the gym. When you when you wanted to go to the gym, you are not going to see the same growth that you would have got if you went to the gym. And we can direct this in all different areas and all, the, all different things. But it's important for us to understand this in comparison to not trying at all. I'd rather fail miserably. I'd rather try something new and fail and grow from it than just not try at all and not grow at all. Because when you don't grow at all, you're not going to change it. You're not going to get better. You're not going to find any sense of enjoyment really overall in your life and that's what I found when I didn't try to break out of that when I didn't try to break out of myself when I didn't try to break out of me getting better or this image of myself that I saw myself as before and I didn't try to take a few risks or some risks I wouldn't see any growth in my life therefore my life became quite lackluster and I felt quite down upset because there wasn't any enjoyment in it and a lot of times the enjoyment you get is on the other side of risk on the other side of failure essentially on the other side of hardship. A lot of times the growth you experience is on the other side of risk, hardship, pain. And it's important for us to understand this when we're doing things. And it's important for us to have this in mind at first as well. Because if we have this in mind at first, we can understand if we take a bit of a risk here, we may struggle, we may fail, but we can grow from it in a future tense. We can grow from it. And we may be able to get better at that thing, better at that thing, better at that thing. And I've had it with loads of new different things I've started before. I've struggled at first, struggled, struggled, and then over time I get a bit better, a bit better, a bit better over time. And then you start seeing the results over time and you look back and you're like, oh, I'm really grateful for that. Like I kept trying and trying and trying. And then you think, imagine if I didn't try at all. Imagine if I didn't try, I, I wouldn't have experienced anywhere near the same growth in myself. I wouldn't experience the same growth in my life, in a sense of my confidence in how I carry myself and how I feel on myself. And that's overall the message in this video. Don't be afraid to fail because you're going to grow if you fail. Try new things, try things you want to try. And if you fail, it's okay. It's okay because you're going to grow from it. But it's a lot better doing it that way than not trying at all because you're not going to grow at all then. And that's the message in this video. I hope you all got a lot of value in this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for the love recently. Thank you.